Russian ballistic missiles and attack drones rained down on the eastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv overnight, capping off a week of tit-for-tat assaults by both sides. Moscow says it pounded Kharkiv from the skies in retaliation for a suspected Ukrainian air attack on the Russian city of Belgorod a day earlier. At least 24 civilians were killed in what appeared to be the deadliest single strike inside Russia since the war started nearly two years ago. Footage of the aftermath showed scenes of devastation that have become grimly familiar to Ukrainians. The latest violence began Friday when Russian forces bombarded Ukraine with one of their biggest missile attacks of the conflict. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the strikes hit 120 cities and villages. As he urged Kyiv's Western allies to keep up the flow of weapons. Ukraine has struggled to claw back territory seized by Russia in a counteroffensive that has failed to make any significant breakthrough. With the recent flare-up in fighting, signaling neither side intends to back down, Ukraine will need to rely more heavily on its own resources in 2024, amid signs support for funding Kyiv's war effort is waning. As the war enters its third calendar year, a question mark lingers over foreign aid from the European Union and the U.S., Ukraine's biggest single country donor. Both packages have been blocked so far by congressional Republicans in Washington and Hungary's Russia-friendly government. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.